Hello to all my Saggy Mystic Tribe members. Welcome, welcome, welcome to your May 16th through 31st, 2022 reading. Many blessings to you all. Remember, this is a collective reading for all Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. That means if you'd like a personal reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. And with that, we'll go right into the reading. We have the Ace of Rods, which is fire in your belly, ready to do something new, whether it's a relationship, a new job, a new project, or a new adventure. Very exciting energy here. And then we have the Four of Swords. So before you set off into this big, wonderful energy, you want to make sure to honor yourself and bring yourself to a place of wholeness so that you can take full advantage of this. Either that or while you do it, if it's something that's going to be in long duration, you definitely want to take that time to recover, rejuvenate, and restore. Remember, honoring yourself is important because without your health and your ability to, to have the endurance for whatever this is, you're not going to be able to accomplish it the way you want, and you want to do it big. So bring that energy of restoration. Even athletes have to recover, okay? So whatever that is for you, sitting down and giving yourself some self-care, making sure that you have what you need, the, the preparation is, is the key to success, my darlings. So here we go. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine pure white light, divine spirit. There's the end of something you're letting go of, the seven of swords. I'll talk about that in a second. Divine spirit, spirit guides, gods and goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all sun, moon, and rising signs for Sagittarius to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome your blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So we have our beautiful jumper here. Let's talk quickly about that Seven of Swords. That's the energy of releasing what no longer serves you, whatever that may be. You'll know it in your heart, whatever that is for you. Some people will be giving two weeks notice and changing jobs because you saw that Ace of Rods, which can mean a new job. It can also be letting go of someone or something like a habit or extra stuff in your life to just kind of lighten yourself, right? So you can lighten your energy or lighten your stuff. We have the Ten of Pentacles, which would go right along with those other two cards with the energy of fully being able to seize the day on this Ten of, of Pentacles. What a beautiful energy. This is a lifetime of abundance. It's not a small amount. So it's either a lump sum of a great amount or a lifetime extended out of payments of this money. I keep telling the universe, this is my new, new statement. Um, I know that it's holding my millions in trust for me. So, <laughs> so it can pay it out however it chooses, but it knows that anytime I'm in need, I can just ask the trust for money. <laughs> I'm a trust baby. <laughs> so here is the six of pentacles. And that's the energy of more than you anticipated. Something better than you anticipated. It is free money, y'all. This is the energy of being given an, an abundance of something with some extra that you didn't expect in a good way. So we like that. Oh, look at here. We got some timing. Three days, three weeks, three months third time's the charm. So you know, at these three swords release, you are able to move forward in your whole heart, fully healed, fully ready, fully ready to receive. Well, talk about moving forward with your whole heart. Some of you are moving forward in an energy of a soul bond. This is the lovers. It is the Gemini major arcana. It's also the energy of moving forward in a soul ascension. When you're in the energy of your, your mind and your body and your soul lining up, and you have all of this beautiful energy moving forward, you are in your zone. This means your soul's calling may be available to you at this point. So whatever you're doing for a living, you feel called to do, and you may be getting the answer to that right here. Now, 
It can also be the energy of a relationship where you have a soul connection. It doesn't have to be a soulmate, babes, to have a wonderful time because soulmates are a little challenging. <laughs> so, <laughs> or a lot challenging. So understand, if, if you have a connection with somebody, that's good. That's all you need. It doesn't have to be labeled. So here we have the Knight of Swords, which is something coming out of the blue very fast, all of a sudden. It may be somebody contacting you or the divine giving you a download, but it is almost instantaneous. It's like lightning strike, literally. Well, we're in a high priestess energy, so that's a beautiful ascension. So it looks like divine communication coming in. So some of you are picking up some real information on what to do to move forward. And it can come in dreams. You can get it in, in divine downloads. You can also get it as just a, a quick, all of a sudden, you know something. It's it, I used to call it the knowing before I knew how to describe what was happening to me. And, or before I felt safe. <laughs> Here's the temperance card. This is the energy of your major arcana, Saggy major arcana showing up in a big way here. Look at you evolving right here. Now, this is Archangel Uriel also. It's the representation of that. She's the keeper of the source field light, like your divine source, the thing within you that burns the candle, right? So life force energy here, she's holding that in her hand. And she's doing alchemy to create water coming from fire into this cup and dropping it down into little pixie dust. So that is putting it in your path to allow you to have synchronicity. This is where when change happens, it's so smooth, it feels like it, it was destiny, that kind of energy. And for you, it very well is because that is your major arcana card. Now, we have the Eight of Pentacles. This is can be on the job training or learning, you know, something new and making yourself very experienced in it by studying it very closely. This is the apprentice card and it means knowledge and expansion that brings in abundance because you, because of that knowledge. We have the moon card which is the Pisces moon. This is about how you send your light out, right? Now you had that four of swords at the beginning which means you're running low on that. Then it then that was your signal to go, "Oh, hey, I need to refuel." Well, you need to refuel because you're going to have to put an extra portion into what you're manifesting here in the work area, work in career and finances, this area. So you want to re really be able to pour your energy out, but you have to pull in double. Just like if you were growing a baby inside you, you're going to eat for two. This is the same thing. You've got to pull in enough light and, and put in enough focus to be able to turn this embryo into what it needs to be. This is something ready to be manifest, and that little clockwork there is the divine timing that will activate once you have your chakras in alignment that's what this one's all about all the chakra colors are there and the divine white light so all you have to do is sit down and allow yourself to pull that energy in hold it in your heart and then send it back to your whatever your goal is what you're manifesting and quick, fast, and in a hurry, we have the Eight of Wands. This is communication. It also means some people may have some air travel coming up. This is also very fast energy, so it's happening quickly. So it can be uh, negotiation, communication, conversation happening. Now, this is, this is where we currently feel like we're, but I've done everything and I'm just, I'm just waiting and I don't even know if this is... So stand your ground, my darlings. You're at the end of this. You are as close to the moment of breakthrough that you can get. It's like waiting nervously for that, you know, that one thing to happen in the waiting room. So when, you know, people, people do it all the time. They're waiting to hear the news. What, is it a boy? Is it a girl? Right? That's nine months, right? So think of it the same way. You got the nine, the nine of rods where you're at that moment where it's about to pop. Now, in a good way. Now, we've got the, the Queen of Cups here. Do not, I repeat, do not get in your mind and start thinking about every way it could go wrong or what bad things you've heard in the past or what has happened to you. And don't tell your story again in that. Don't tell the negative story again. You can remember something happened in a cursory way. 
but do not take a deep dive into the emotions and the actual actions because all you're doing is reinfecting yourself with whatever negativity or toxic energy. It's literally like picking up cyanide and drinking it yourself thinking it's going to hurt the, the, the person that, it, that did it to you. You cannot do that. Please. Look at how far you've come. If you're going to reflect on the past, only look at how far you've come past that point. Thank God that's no longer the thing, right? So don't get too much in the negative or in the, in the old icky nostalgia. If you're going to remember something, try to make it a good memory and make yourself laugh and feel in a high energy because that's what you need. Here we go. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine pure white light, divine spirit, spirit guides, gods and goddesses thank you so much for being present here to allow all sagittarius sun moon and rising to have the information they seek <clears throat> to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path we thank you so much divine for these blessings and beautiful messages and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended we thank you for this divine guidance as always and we welcome your blessed energy thank you so much divine you're always welcome and very appreciated so let's see what we have of course when the big big stuff starts happening we get into this place that's what that queen of cups was talking about don't let yourself go down the deep dive of of oh gosh i don't know if i'm doing the right thing uh what if this happens what if that happens Every single time you make a big move in life, fear is going to rear its head because change is the signaler for your new surroundings of the unknown. Now, let me tell you why you want to welcome the unknown. It's in the unknown that the universe can make miracles happen. So if you're in something predictable, you're not in miraculous energy. You're not in manifestation. You're in predictable, right? We want everything that's possible. There we go. The Two of Pentacles is the energy of staying focused no matter what other people's drama is or what the world at large is doing. If you drop those coins, first of all, somebody's going to scoop them up before you ever get back. If, if not, the ocean will take it. Um, and it might take you too if you try to swim out there. The, it's rough. It's looking pretty pretty hairy out there so you don't want to get stuck in that and drown on the way and then if you get to the boat you're just in the same boat they're in there's nothing you can do for them do your part here stay in your focus if they if they somehow make it to shore help them but you can't help them from where you are you have to do you now here's the page of swords so that's the information coming in telling you what's going on here and, and, and giving you the timing. He's an informer, so he's coming to tell you what's what. And this beautiful lover's card opens the gate to the world card, which is the energy of ascension into a higher level. A new chapter, a new doorway. This vortex is opening for your benefit. And that is the Virgo dancing through. So it, it's just a representation of Virgo. It doesn't mean it's a Virgo card. It's just showing the Virgo. It's also showing Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo. This is a vortex, so it is completely opening up something to allow you, remember the, the Virgo is the hermit in the other card, and in its actual card, in its actual form, and this is her moving forward on that journey, right? Stepping down the path just like the hermit. Well, if you weren't really fixated on that Ten of Pentacles, you should be, because there it is again with the lightning strike. We'll take it. Hello, Ten of Pentacles. Money, 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 money. Here is the Eight of Pentacles, which is again talking about your mastery of a new skill. And for some of you, it may be doing what I do. I'm, I'm more than happy to welcome you into this beautiful paradigm. Um, it is the energy of being able to really focus your skills to earn money. And now you see the Ten of Pentacles there and the beautiful Sun card. So whatever it is you're doing, keep doing it because there it is. That's the energy you want. And that's the temperance really making everything synchronized. This is an opportunity of a lifetime. And for some of you, it's talking about completely having a, a rebirth of whole new energy coming in. This has the promise of the universe to bring it to fruition. The sun card is that card. It is the happiest card in tarot. 
I mean, joyful, happy, that kind of just overflowing. Now, you're, you're doing this work of the eight of pentacles here and you're working towards something and you feel like, okay, am I ever going to finish this? I don't even know. You have had to put it off twice and now I have to, right? So stand there, keep going. Don't keep yourself in the place of, even, don't even give yourself an out. The only way out is through, finish, keep going forward. Now, this card here is distraction. It's Capricorn Major Arcana. It can be someone who is a distraction to you, or it is your own self-sabotage energy. You have the power to manifest. If you get distracted and stop your manifestation, you're going to make it last longer, right? So this is only a suggestion to be lured off the path. You don't have to take its, its offer. You don't have to accept its invitation, right? And... There's that. This is the thing. If you get in this energy, you're going to exhaust yourself. Remember, the four of swords showed up at the beginning to let you know, and it's showing up at the end to remind you. You have to refuel. And here is the resurrection energy. Beautiful restoration. This is Archangel Gabriel showing up. This is the judgment card. It means something being restored, brought back to its former glory, bringing something back to life. So, Whatever opportunity that you did not have or could not seize, now it's coming back around. That may be a separate, whole different place that it's happening, but it's the same kind of opportunity. So just in, where, you know, in a different, different wrapper. So my darling Saggies, this is a beautiful second half of May. I send you love, light, peace, happiness, and joy, abundance, prosperity, and all the love I can muster divine healing, and I will see you in June. Love you guys. Namaste.